or what are some of the top implications for Alberta depending on the outcome of this presidential election? The pipeline projects and the energy exports, we know what happened in terms of projects in the past. The leadership changed and a deal that is signed all of a sudden goes in the garbage, making sure that we understand that the U.S. is our top consumer of our energy. So making sure that we pay attention to those policies, clean energy and carbon policies. I mean, that's for our country as well, something to be paying attention to. Both countries are, are tackling that big emissions question and, and looking at how do we do that, but still maintain the resource sector, still maintain our businesses and the industries that support the, the province itself. Are there going to be additional carbon taxes coming in as a result? Are there going to be subsidies for renewables potentially? Hydrogen production incentives. So there's lots of things like that. A lot of what people are talking about, the tariffs that have been announced. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's a yeah. huge implication of a Trump presidency that really impacted Canadian producers and Canadian businesses last go around, right? 2016 to 2020. Absolutely. Do you perceive that there's any difference from the American perspective on buying Canadian versus buying stuff from China? That neighborly relationship benefits us a little bit, but I'm not sure 100%. A lot of our products and services are going across the border several times before they actually hit consumer shelves. So we really just will have to think about alternative partnerships, you know, with U.S.-based companies that can circumvent any of the negative impacts that that could potentially have. Mm-hmm.